Hey guys, it's Megan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today we're going to do a athletic performer class. It's still going to strengthen and tone our muscles, but we're going to add a little cardio to keep our heart rate up and burn some calories. So let's go ahead and get started. Before anything, I'm going to have a two and a half pound weight with me. We're going to use those. They're completely optional. I like to use weights. So if you want that, go ahead and grab your weights. And we're going to start on one heavy spring, so one red spring. I'm going to come onto our reformer, place our hands onto the foot bar, and I'm going to place my left foot back onto the shoulder block, and I'm going to keep my right foot kind of close towards the edge of the reformer. And I'm going to have, make sure my shoulders are over my wrist, and I'm just going to, when I have my right, I'm going to have my right leg in front. So I'm going to keep this leg nice and long and strong. I'm not going to keep a bent knee. I'm going to keep it long so I can get that hamstring stretch. So as I lengthen it, I'm going to sit back towards my heel. So sitting back towards my heel, keeping my right leg long, and it's a starting position. I'm going to push out, and I'm going to come into a nice little lunge, and then come on up and pushing my hips back so I'm getting that nice stretch. So go at your own pace, but try to keep that nice flat back. And as you just bend down, and lift. You want to stay low, kind of stay bent in this right, left leg, sorry. And we're just warming up those legs, stretching out the back of the legs. Good. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and last one. Come on up, stay there. Walk your right foot back onto the shoulder block and push out to a plank. Lengthen through that spine. And now we're just going to hinge back and forward using our shoulders. Stay in that nice long spine, reaching the crown of the head long, lifting up onto that core. Use that breath. Good guys, keep going. Let's go for a four. Three, two, and last one. Make sure your shoulders are over your wrist and we're going to do five push-ups. For five, four, three, two, and one. Come on in. So now I'm going to walk my left foot forward and keep my right foot up against the shoulder block. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. So, starting position, I'm going to keep my left leg long. And I'm going to sit back towards my heel so I feel that nice stretch and lengthening at the back of my glutes and hamstrings. I'm going to push back, bring my right knee to carriage, and then back up. So you can tell that I'm keeping that nice flat back. I'm staying pretty low in general. I'm just warming up those legs, stretching up the back of the hamstrings. Good. You got it. Engaging that core. Warming up that body. She's pretty warm by now. Let's go for five, four, three, two. And one, stay there, same thing. We're gonna walk that foot back against the shoulder block and push out to that plank again. Same thing. If this is too much, you can stay here. If you want with me, you're gonna push in and out. Bringing those shoulders right over your wrist, pushing all the way out as much as you can handle, gauging that core. Good. Use that breath. Let's go for three. Try not to hyperextend those elbows. I'm guilty of that too. Two. And last one. Shoulders over wrist. Five more push ups. For five, four, three, two. And last one. Knees down. And just take a quick little child's pose. Good job, guys. So we're gonna come on up now. 
we're gonna step on the Saturn reformer. So I'm on my right side. I'm gonna go ahead and do a spring change. So I'm gonna take, take my red off and I'm putting a blue spring. So one light spring, one light spring only. And now I'm gonna grab one of my um, weights. So one of my weights and my small strap. So if you have the option here, I would go small strap. It just depends on your strength. And you wanna stand by your reformer and put tension in this rope so it leaves your stopper. So you have tension in this carriage the entire time. Good, from here, I'm gonna walk a little bit closer towards my spring so I can build that tension. It depends on where you're at, but this is right here for me. From here, I'm gonna find that low squat, okay, sitting back towards my heels, and now I'm just going to do a bicep curl. So I'm trying to keep my arms up at shoulder level. I just have this light weight in my right hand to kind of counterbalance me, but really, my left arm's working the hardest. So if it gets a little heavy, you can walk a little closer towards the back of your reformer, or you can switch to that long strap. But right here is a good spot, I found it. <laughs> good, stay low in that squat. Really feeling those biceps, fire up. Good. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Stay low in that squat. Now you're just gonna shift your arm forward, and now we're gonna go into hug a tree. So I might walk a little closer towards my springs here, just so I can get more range of motion in this movement. I'm still staying low in that squat. Whew. I'm thinking of a beach ball in front of me, so I'm keeping my arms round. Good. Let's go for five, four, three, two. Last one, interlace your fingers, and now you're just gonna allow your rope, your strap to pull you towards that left side, and then use your hips to guide you. So I'm gonna walk a little closer towards my spring load, I mean the back of my reformer, just so I can get more range of motion here. So you really wanna stay low in that squat, and think about if your chest had a pole connected to your uh, weight here, they would follow each other. So think of your sternum and your weight in line with each other. And really keep your hips squared towards the front of the room, and you're just rotating at the hips, feeling that rib cage move from left to right. Engaging those obliques, feeling that nice spinal rotation for four. Stay low. Three, two, and one. Good. We're gonna go ahead, and now I'm gonna switch to a long strap here, but I'm gonna rotate and face towards the front of my reformer, and I'm gonna place my right foot back and my left foot, sorry, my right foot forward, my left foot back. So, opposite leg forward from your opposite hand. And then from here, you can have your weight in your right hand, keep it down, whichever. We're gonna go into a shoulder press. So you wanna find your position here. I gotta walk a little bit further back toward my reformer to get more range of motion. So. Just a nice shoulder press. See if you can stay in that nice runner, run, runner's lunge. And if you like, you can add some little lunging bits. So think about pushing forward, keeping this left arm nice and straight, coming right up. Feeling those shoulders working hard, engaging those glutes. And adding this little lunge down is too much. You can just stay in that squat. Let's go for five. Four, three, two, one. Come in, hold your arm nice and steady, and you're just gonna go down and up with those legs. Arms not moving. Try to keep that carriage still for five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Good. I'm gonna place my weight down for this move. But now I'm gonna rotate facing the back of my reformer. Same strap, 
I'm just gonna switch hands now. I'm gonna keep the long strap now on my right hand. So your hand closest towards your reformer, that goes into your long strap. And then from here, pull back onto your reformer so it leaves that um, stopper. And now we're just gonna go into a high elbow row. So you see I pull my reformer back and my elbow comes out towards the corner of the room and I'm gonna squat down as it comes back in towards back home. So as I squat, I sit back towards my heels and really pulling back with that arm. Feeling the back working really hard. Our back, our serratus, um, deltoid. So a really good move here to strengthen our posterior chain. Whew. Keep going. Speed up that heart rate. We call it athletic reformer for a reason. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Stay there. You're just going to hinge forward now on your left leg. So I'm going to come into a nice T position, keeping the carriage still. Holding onto that strap, I'm just gonna dip my right toe down and up, down and up. All my weight in this left leg. It's like bending that knee, carriage is still, engaging that core, hips are square to the floor for five, four, three, two, and one. Both feet down. I'm gonna walk a little bit closer towards the back of my reformer. I'm gonna keep my feet down closer together. I'm gonna hinge forward, and now I'm just gonna go into a nice tricep. So using that long strap, I'm just pulling back. So my arm stays very still. I'm just hinging from that elbow joint. If this is a little heavy, walk a little closer towards the back of the reformer. Find that spot that works for you. Engaging that core for five, four, three, two, and one, come on up. Whew. Good job, guys. We're gonna keep our weight there, and we're just gonna come down onto our reformer. Before we get started, let's actually drop our foot bar, and we're still gonna keep that light blue spring. So one light blue spring, drop your reformer, and you're gonna be kneeling on your reformer. I'm gonna have my knees closest towards the uh, other side of the reformer. So I'm really using the length, the width of my reformer. I'm not gonna be crunched over. I'm gonna take, this might be a little difficult to get into, so listen, I'm gonna take my long strap, I'm gonna pull my reformer, and I'm gonna place it on the, my foot, closest towards the spring. So you can tell I have my foot closest towards the spring, and I actually put it in the short strap because the spring's a little bit light here, so I want a little bit more tension. You can pick which strap you like. When you're ready, I'm gonna walk my knees closest towards my springs. They're back towards the um, other side of the reformer. My hands are at the edge. Watch your fingers here because your reformer's going to move. And now we're going to sweep that leg behind and back. So. Really have full control here, okay? We're working our hip adductors. So outer thigh, outer glute. But our obliques are working just as hard here. They're keeping us centered so we're not rotating. Keep a slight bend in your elbows here so you're not hyperextending. And really use the strength of your leg to pull that reformer all the way back. And then Control it as it comes home. Don't let your springs bring you home. You have full control using your hip adductor. Good. Engaging that core, keep a nice flat back. Let's go for five, four, three, Two, and one, stay there. Now you're just gonna bend your knee in and think about placing it, bending it, and just 
knee. So you're connecting your knees close to each other. You're tapping your right knee down on that reformer. And then now think about kicking your leg out. And then bending it and tapping. So it's not that straight leg sweep that we were just doing. My leg is actually bending and then kicking. Good. Let's go for five. Four. When I do this on the other side, and you guys are seeing me from behind, this might become a little bit more clear. Hopefully, you're able to understand the movement here. The bending and tapping the knee behind, and then kicking to pull for two. And last one. Good. Slowly come out of that. So I would just kind of grab that strap and slowly come on up. We're in the position that we want to be now. So keeping your light blue spring, still having your knees towards the end of the carriage, grabbing the short strap. So now, short strap, right hand. So your hand closest towards the front of your reformer. Starting position here. We're gonna be, now we can kind of hunch that back over. So kind of hunching over, arms come in front of each other like this, as if you're hugging something. But you want your right arm to be free, because what we're going to do, we're going to stack the spine, lengthen through the spine, and we're gonna pull out to our arms to a T. Keeping those arms nice, long, and strong, we're going to allow our rope our, to pull us towards that front room Back of the room, sorry. And then back forward. And then come into a nice little mermaid position, letting that um, strap pull you towards that left side, but you're reaching your arm towards that right side. And then back to that T, and then back to starting position. So now let's start. So we're hunching over into that hugging position. We're gonna stack this spine and pull out to a T. Keeping those arms straight, you're gonna to rotate towards the back of the room. Then pulling those arms, and then coming into a nice mermaid. And then back to a T, starting position. So go at your own pace here. If you wanna keep that cardio up, you'll definitely add a little speed to it. But depending where you're at, no worries. Sorry, I totally just skipped the starting position. So don't forget to go through all the positions. Starting position, stack the spine, pulling up. Rotate towards the back of the room, pulling back to center, and then into a mermaid. Good. Good, let's go for three more. Down, stack the spine, pull. Rotate towards the back of the room. Keep that arm long as you come back to center into a nice mermaid and back for two so this feels really good hopefully it feels good for you guys too it's a lot of arm a lot of deltoid but you get that nice stretch on the waist back should feel good and last one come on down Ooh, good job guys. Go ahead and place that um, strap back and now grabbing your weights. We're just going to do a little cardio burst here. So I'm going to grab my weights. I'm going to come in front of my reformer and I'm going to use my step uh, platform as a little stepping platform step. So if you're with me, we're just going to come up. I'm going to stay on my right leg and I'm going to keep it bent. And I'm just bringing my left knee in. I'm staying low. And I'm just adding a little tricep kickback with my arms. Lift that chest up. And we're just doing a little cardio first. Bring back that heart rate. Stay low in that right leg. You got it, guys. If this is too much, you can just step up and down. Let's stay low. Stay with me for 10, 9, 8. Seven, whew, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Holy moly. Good job, guys. So, 
We're already in this position. Keep your weight. Keep that light loose frame. I'm gonna keep my right foot on the platform and my left foot on the carriage. That really got my heart rate up, so hopefully it did for you guys too. And then from here, we're just gonna go into a nice shoulder press, pushing that carriage out, engaging those inner thighs, and pulling in. Out, engage those inner thighs, and pull it. So this is a light weight. So we're focusing on those inner thighs. I forgot to mention, let's keep our toes pointed out. So toes are pointing out towards the end sides of the room, and then we're pushing out and in. Think about wrapping your inner thighs in towards each other when you're pulling that carriage in. Really lengthening through that spine. Good. Hopefully my head doesn't get cut off too much here. Good. Woo. Let's go for five. We're gonna add on four, three, two, and one. Good, push out now. Woo. Come into a plie, up and down. So we're just adding a little plie to that movement that we were just doing. Still working those inner thighs. For four, three, two, and one. Come on in, square your feet off. So both feet are pointing forward, and now, let me just catch my breath. You want to make sure, you want to try to keep your carriage still here. So this is where our inner thighs come in. Again, carriage doesn't move. So really activate those inner thighs. And you're just going to sit down into a squat and up. Stay low. Keep the knees bent as you lift and lower. You're not fully extending them. Stay low and just little pull squats. Try to keep that carriage close and home. Don't let it move. Squeeze those inner thighs. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Good. Stay there. We're just going to rotate now towards our reformer. So my right foot is still on the platform, and my left foot is on the carriage. Whew. Good. From here, we're just going to push out into a nice, push out into a nice runner's lunge, getting low in this left leg, staying high on those right, balls of the feet, lifting the heels, and up. So I'm adding a nice little lateral lift with the arms. And I'm really trying to sit as low as I can in this left leg, and then driving through my heel to lift up and bring that reformer home. So really working those glutes, getting a nice hip flexor stretch, and working those arms. Engage that core. It's best if you find a spot on that wall or that floor for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Stay there. You're just going to push out now. Stay low in that lunge. You can keep your arms out to that T. And now you're just pushing that left leg out and in. You want to stay low in that lunge. Ooh. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Come on up. And slowly come on down. Whew. Good job, guys. So we're going to do the same exact thing on the other side. So now we're going to start with those step ups. So I'm going to place my left foot up onto the reformer. And now my right leg stays low. Grabbing my weight. And when you're ready, 
We're gonna do nice step ups, but I'm now gonna do some bicep curls. So I'm gonna stay low in this left leg. I'm gonna keep it bent, and I'm just bringing my right knee in and down. I'm kind of sitting on the ball of my foot with my right foot. My heel never touches the floor. So I'm staying light. Bring up that heart rate. Engage that core. You got it. Legs on fire. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. I feel that. So now, my back is going to be facing you guys. So I'm gonna place my right foot onto the reformer. Careful, it's light, so it's going to slide. And I'm gonna keep my left foot onto the platform. Perfect. And now we're gonna do the same thing with those inner thighs. So I'm gonna point my toes out towards the sides of the room. And now we're gonna push out with a shoulder press. And in. So really push out as far as you can, wrapping those inner thighs in and lengthening up. Lift up onto that pelvic floor. Lengthen through that spine. Think about growing taller as you pull that reformer home, using those inner thighs. Squeezing those glutes. Good job. We're gonna add on to this. In three, two, and one. So we're gonna push out, plie, up, and back. Out, plie, up, and back. So same movement. We're just adding those plies. Think about going straight down, not arching that butt back. For three, two, and one. Good. Come on in. And now we're just going to do the same thing. So my left foot's on the platform, and my right foot comes on to my carriage. And then from here, Excuse me. We're gonna go right into that runner's lunge with a nice tricep extension and up. So you can tell that I'm staying hinged forward. My left toes are my left toes are on the platform. My heel is lifted, and I'm driving through my right heel to lift me and to really push that carriage out. You really want to get as low as you can. The lower you get, the higher the tush. So really working those legs, glutes, everything. Engaging that core. Good job. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and last one, stay low in that lunge, and you're just gonna push that right leg out and in. Hinging forward. Good. For five, find that spot on the wall. Four, three, two, and one. Come on in. And let's slowly come on down from our carriage. <laughs> Good guys, so now we're gonna do everything that we just did on the other side. So this time my back will be towards you. So now you can see kind of how it's working on that back side, in case you couldn't see it when I was on the other side. So I'm gonna place the weight down and I'm gonna grab my short strap with my right hand now and I'm gonna keep my weight in my left hand. And we're gonna start with those nice bicep curls. So I'm gonna find my position on my reformer. Like I said, the closer you are towards the back, the lighter. The closer you are towards your springs, the heavier. So you wanna find 
find that right position. Once you're there, find that nice low squat, and let's go right into those bicep curls. Stay low in that squat. You have full control. Try not to let the momentum of the springs pull that carriage home. You do everything using that bicep. Good. For five, four, pull the shoulders back, three, two, and one. Stay low, and now we're just gonna go into that hug retreat. So I'm gonna walk a little closer towards my springs, then get more range of motion. You can tell my arms are in front of me, and I have like a nice beach ball. I don't drop my arms from shoulder level. Good, stay low in that squat, engaging those glutes. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, interlace those fingers, and now you're gonna let that reformer go back all the way towards the back of the room, and then using your waist. So this one, I have to walk a little closer towards the back of my reformer to get more range of motion. And now, I'm staying low in my squat. My hips are staying square to that wall in front of me, and I'm just rotating at that waistline. Engaging those obliques, feeling that nice spine rotation. Stay low in my squat, and remember my sternum is directly in line with my weight the entire time. Let's go for five, four, three, see if you can get lower, two, and one, come on up. Good. Now I'm gonna to rotate towards the front of my reformer. I'm gonna to switch to the long strap for this, and I'm placing my left foot in front, my right leg back. So my leg closest to the reformer always goes back. And from here, I'm gonna come into a nice runner, runner's lunge, keep my left back heel up, and I'm gonna come into a nice shoulder press, so you kind of position yourself where you're able to move that reformer. So if you have to walk further back towards the back of the reformer, I understand. And now let's add those nice little squats. Go ahead. For five, four, Three, two, find your spot, that's a beautiful. And then one, I'm gonna stay low, I'm not gonna move my carriage. My arm stays still, and I'm just going to lower and lift through that leg. Nice squats, five, four, pulses. Three, two, and one. I'm gonna come on up, and now I'm gonna rotate facing the back wall. I'm gonna put my weight down for this. From here, I'm gonna keep my left, actually, both feet in line here. I'm gonna walk back a little bit further towards my springs, and I'm gonna come into that high elbow row. So remember, I'm pulling it up, elbow comes high, arm stays up at shoulder level. And you can add those nice little squats as you come home. So really sit back towards those heels, activating those glutes, using that whole back of the arm to really move that carriage, keeping the core really steady. Don't think about throwing your chunk. Everything stays nice and still. I forgot my coordination right there. Wait, how is that working? We got it. Good guys, let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Stay here, now I'm gonna hinge forward on my, sorry, with my right leg now. I'm gonna try to keep this 
carriage still, so I'm gonna keep tension in it. I'm hinging forward into a nice T position, and it's gonna lower and lift my left toes. So they're gonna tap the floor and lift. Really think about squeezing those glutes. Eye base stays down at the floor. I'm hitting my weight. <laughs> Good. For five, four, three, hip stay square, two, and one. Come on up, walk your feet closer together. They're in line with each other. I still have my weight and my strap in my left hand. I'm gonna hinge forward. I'm gonna find my spot that works for me. And now I'm just gonna hit those triceps. So my arm stays steady, and I'm just bending at that elbow joint. If it's heavy, walk closer towards the back of that carriage. Find that sweet spot. Think about lengthening through the spine, we're not crunched over. Good, let's go for five, four, three, two, and one, come on up. Good job. So now, we're gonna do those leg sweeps. And now you can see from behind how I was doing those. Hopefully you got it in the front, but if you did it, now you can see. So, I'm going to take my short strap, and I'm going to grab it with my left hand, and I'm gonna place it on the bottom of my foot. And I'm gonna walk my knees closest towards the springs, and at the side of the reformer, closest towards the back. So I'm really using the length, the width, sorry, of my reformer here. And from here, watch your fingers, because that carriage is gonna move. And now, I'm going to sweep my leg back. So these are the sweet leg sweeps. So you want your toe to brush against the floor and lift. Hopefully, you like the view. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but really think about staying in that nice flat back. Don't slouch into your shoulders. Push through those hands. Keeping this left leg that's moving really long and strong, not bending the knee yet. I'm really using my hip abductor, outer thigh, outer glute, to move this carriage. I'm lifting it up as high as I can, and then I resist that carriage coming home. I'm doing the motion. The, the spring's not bringing me home. Good, for five, we're gonna add on to this. Four. Three. Two. Now bend your knee, and now it crosses and taps the reformer on the other side of your knee. And then now we do that nice little kick towards that wall. So bend, and tap, and kick. So now the knee, you can tell, it's bending and extending. So it's a nice, like, almost like a Karun chop kick, I don't know, oh, yeah. And then bend and tap. Push through those shoulders though, guys. Don't slouch into them, it's the worst thing ever. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and slowly release that carriage and grab that strap. Good. So now we're gonna go into those arm motions. So I'm gonna grab the short strap with my left arm. That's closest towards the spring. My knees are still on the carriage towards the back of it. And now we're gonna find that starting position. So now you can kind of hunch over, gather your arms in front of you like you're gonna hug something. Lengthen through that spine and draw the sword. Keep that arm straight as you rotate towards the back of that room, pulling back to center, and then rotating into a nice mermaid, stretching over towards that left side, and then pulling back to starting position. So hopefully you got the motion here. Go at your own pace, whichever feels comfortable for you. 
So we're working the left arm here. So it might be a little bit heavier for you if you're a right hand person like me, but um, do what you can. Really stay strong. Focus on every move that we're doing here. Pull the shoulders back. Really using the back of the arms to move that carriage. Good job, guys. Let's go for three more. Two. Use your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And last one here. Inhale.
whenever you extend the legs. Let's go for five, four, three, two. Last leg, keep everything extended and you're just gonna crisscross those legs. Nice and strong, you can bring them down and up for five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Feel those abs working hard, guys. We're almost done, we're just burning out our abs and then we'll cool down for a nice stretch. Last exercise here, arms come out to a T, legs back to tabletop, and now you're just gonna pull those arms towards your hips and up. So, almost like you're flying, or a nice little backstroke. Keep your legs up at a nice tabletop, don't drop them. Squeeze those inner thighs together and those knees. And try to keep your arms or your peripheral vision. When you're ready, come up. And neck and shoulders. Try not to dig your chin into your chest, so just lean towards your knees. Good. And we're gonna add on to this. So you're gonna extend, and now one leg comes under the foot bar, and the other leg comes over, and then back up. So you're just gonna switch. So one leg under, one leg over, and then back to tabletop. For five. Four, three, two, last one. Keep them over and under. You're gonna tick tock those legs for five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your knees and come on in. Holy moly, fill those. Good job, guys. Let's go ahead and place both feet into our straps, both feet in long straps. And when you're ready, let's just do straight legs, lower and lift. Nice little active recovery after really working those core muscles. So you want to keep your tailbone heavy, your sacrum area heavy. You don't lift it. You're just lengthening the back of those legs and then pulling down. So now we're in cool down mode. So you guys are done for the most part of all the, you know, high intensity or cardio heart rate bringing workouts. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Let's go into our leg circles. Like I said, the weights are optional. I like to add the weights. It just helps kind of elevate my heart rate, making it a little bit more challenging. Just kind of depends where you're at though. For two and one, let's reverse direction. Same thing, leg circles, you're just reversing the direction. Try to get as wide as you can, opening up those hips. For three, two, and one. Good, last exercise here, guys. We're gonna do short spine. Nice little stretch for us. So bring your head rest down if it's not down already. Legs stay extended, heels together, toes apart, and starting position. We rotate both feet to parallel. We hinge our legs up towards the ceiling until they're straight up and down. Now we use our core muscles to lift us all the way up, up to our thoracic spine. Allow that carriage to come home. Toes apart, heels together now. And then stay in space as you lower those in towards your chest. You're still staying, legs still stay in space as you lower your bottom onto that carriage. Gain that nice hamstring stretch. And then pull your feet towards your butt and push out. So go at your own pace here. Just feel really nice to move our body like this. So hinge up. And then try to use your core muscles here. I was always using the springs or the ropes to pull me up. And then when I started to use my core muscles, I was like, now I get it. Now I understand this move. Don't use the momentum of your straps to lift you up onto your thoracic spine. Stop here and think about using those cords one vertebrae at a time on your spine as you lift up, gauging them till you bring it all the way to thoracic spine. 
Bend those knees in, lower the butt, get that nice stretch and pull down. And then let's slowly come out of it. If you guys still want to keep stretching, be my guest. But that's enough for me. So thank you so much, guys. That was an athletic performer, I like to call it. So I'll add some of these into my routine. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Like I said, it's strength training, strength training. It's um, still really toning our muscles, but at a faster rate, bringing up our heart rate. I know a little cardio burst to it so we can burn some calories. So hopefully it works for you. It definitely works for me. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe to my page. Every Tuesday and Thursday, you can always look forward to a mat um, class I will be uploading and um, and reformer classes in between. So thank you so much guys. I hope you have a great day. Bye.